You want to hit your back end cross court. This is how you do it. Okay guys, how do you hit your back end cross court? I'm going to give you three tips today. And the first one is probably the most important, so let's get straight into it. On your backhand cross court, especially your double handed backhand, what many players do is they are stepping across too much. Okay, if you're stepping across too much, you're pretty much stuck. Let me show you the camera first. If I'm stepping across too much and I want to hit cross court, I'm stuck. So, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to overcompensate with my wrists. I'm going to try and pull back. I'm going to lose my balance. Can't get the ball cross court. So important, uh, and I'm sure you've seen it on some of my other videos as well. You have to get behind the ball first, okay? So you get your outside leg in, out, and then your inside leg forward. Great example is um, Andre Agassi. Yeah, there's some pictures on the internet of him actually loading, and then his back foot is his front foot's in the air, and then he falls into the ball. That's how much he was loading on the left, okay? So you don't want to be stepping across. You're stuck, you're going to overcompensate, step out and in, out, then in, then you can get the ball cross court. I'll show you one more, out, in, what it also does is it opens up the body so you can actually hit cross court. Step number two guys, you're not, get, you're not getting your outside hip through the ball, that's why you're not getting the ball cross court, okay? So whether you're going close stance or whether you're going open stance, your hip Left hip needs to come through, okay? Otherwise you're gonna be stuck, again. So when you go close stance, obviously the racket needs to do the work first. Close stance, swing the racket then, the hip comes through. So you'll watch a lot of players, Djokovic does as well. He's going close stance, but as he hits, it's coming through. I'll show you again. As he hits, it comes through. If you're going open stance, Nadal does this very well, especially on the wide, then you hit and you still bring the hip through. Okay, otherwise you can't get the ball cross court. Let me show you quickly on both close stance and open stance. I'll give you a demo. Close stance, notice. Notice how after the swing, I'm sw I'm, my hip is still coming through. Okay, to get the ball cross. Step, bringing the hip through. Okay, step, now the ball. And also what you'll notice is with that, you're gonna get a lot more spin. The ball's gonna keep spinning out cross court open stance there finish with my left hip forward there left hip forward I'll show you one more out left hip forward that's step number two for you champs this last step this one is for me it's almost just as important as the first step and obviously all three tips blend together um, all right so what most players do is Yes, when you have a double-handed backhand, your right hand is your dominant hand. Okay, obviously, because you're a right-handed player, okay? And yes, it's okay for your right hand to dominate. From here, it's dominating, it's dominating, it's dominating. But now, on the double-handed backhand, as you start swinging, the left hand has to start dominate, dominating and the left hand has to do the work. What many players do, the right hand Contact the ball in the right hand, still dominating, still dominating, still dominating. And you never get to spin in the racket head speed that you should get. Let me show you one more time. Right hand's dominating. Boom, left hand now has to take over. Look how it's leading, left hand starting to lead. It's taking over and go, okay? Be just before contact point, on contact point, and after contact point, your left hand has to start dominating like a left-handed forehand, okay? Let me show you and see if you can spot it. Right hand's doing the work at contact point and over my left hand's gonna start spinning. Look at my left hand. So that's what you want to look for. And left hand does the work. There's a couple of exercises you can actually do to uh to get the left hand to do the work you can contact and then let your right hand go a little bit at the end you can hit some balls against the wall with your left hand but activate your left hand more after contact point your left hand has to do all the work okay guys so now you know how to hit the ball cross court but how on earth do you hit the ball down the line click on this video i'll show you